Hey everyone, in today's video I'll show you the best in-game graphic settings for the Cycle Frontier and how to set up digital vibrance for people with an NVIDIA graphics card. Every day on stream I'm asked how my colors are so vibrant and what graphic settings I use, so I wanted to make a video showing you everything. First, let's talk about how to access the NVIDIA control panel, which is for people using an NVIDIA graphics card. So you simply right-click on the desktop and you'll see a pop-up and click on NVIDIA control panel there. It's then going to open up this window and on the left hand side under display, you're going to go to adjust desktop color settings. And once you're there, make sure you're on your primary monitor and you're going to scroll down and you're going to see digital vibrance. The default for digital vibrance is 50%, but you can go all the way up to 100%. I personally prefer 80% when I'm playing the Cycle Frontier, but this is something that you can play around with for sure. Keep in mind that every monitor is different and usually has multiple settings like FPS mode and cinema mode and scenery mode. That can have a big impact on the look of the games with Digital Vibrance on, so make sure you're customizing these settings to your own rig. Next, let's hop in-game and take a look at the video settings in-game that I use. So resolution scaling 100, I run Tritonope colorblind with intensity 100, I'll get into that in a second. And here's the rest of my video quality, I prefer draw distance to be epic and everything else to be low to help with visibility. Let's dive in-game and take a look at kind of a side-by-side -side of a lot of these settings turned on and off. So here's one with digital vibrance at its default with colorblind off. And next we have digital vibrance still at the default, but with the colorblind tritonope on at 100% intensity. And next we have digital vibrance at 100% with colorblind mode turned off. And lastly, we have Digital Vibrance at 100% with Tritonope on at 100% intensity. For those of you on an AMD graphics card, I can't speak from experience because I've never owned an AMD card, but my understanding is that you have a similar control panel that's accessed in the same way by right-clicking on your desktop. You right-click, you open up the Radeon software, you can go to the gaming tab or you can go down to the display tab and mess with custom color like you see in these images on the right-hand side, or you can go to a specific game and scroll down and see the same custom color adjustment area as well. And that's it. Remember, every rig is different, every monitor is different, so make sure you're customizing these settings to make it look the best for your personal preference. I hope this video helped you out, and if you're looking to find your way back for more Cycle Frontier content, then make sure to drop a sub, and I'll catch you in the next one.